This video tutorial is about plant responses, specifically to light and dark. So the question on the slide in front of you, why do poinsettia flower at Christmas whilst strawberries flower in the summer? Hopefully by the end of this video tutorial, you'll be able to answer that question. Plants make a phytochrome known as phytochrome red, and that's on the left hand side of this slide. It's the inactive form of the phytochrome. The phytochrome red is a photoreversible isomer of phytochrome far red, which is the active form on the right hand side of this slide. Isomers, as hopefully you're already aware, are molecules that have the same molecular formula, but have different arrangements of the atoms in space. It's the ratio of phytochrome red to phytochrome far red that enables a plant to determine the length of day and night. In sunlight, phytochrome far red accumulates because more red light is absorbed than far red light and red light is responsible for converting phytochrome red into phytochrome far red. In the dark, far red light is absorbed or more far red light is absorbed than red light. As a result, we have the converting back of phytochrome far red into phytochrome red. Now on this slide, you can see the molecular structures of phytochrome red and phytochrome far red. These molecules have a protein and non-protein section. On the board, you can see um, a protein or the protein section is covalently bonded via a disulfide bond to um, the non-protein section of the molecule. Now it's the non-protein portion of the molecule that forms the isomers. It has these two isomers, the phytochrome red isomer and the phytochrome far red isomer. And they're shown in red and purple on this slide. A key term that you need to be able to define is photoperiod. The photoperiod is the relative length of day and night. And it's the environmental cue that determines the time of flowering. In longer winter nights, there's more time for phytochrome far red to be converted back into phytochrome red. As a result, by sunrise, all of the phytochrome will be in the phytochrome red form. During shorter summer nights, there may not be enough time for all of the phytochrome far red to be converted back into the phytochrome red form. As a result, in the morning, some phytochrome far red may still be present in these shorter summer nights. We have two different types of plants. We've got the long day plants, which include strawberries, oats, poppies, lettuce, flowers. And these long day plants will only flower when the period of uninterrupted darkness is less than the critical threshold of 12 hours. In long day plants, phytochrome far red stimulates flowering. In contrast, in short day plants, such as cranthiums and poinsettias, they only flower when the period of uninterrupted darkness is more than the critical threshold of 12 hours. So 12 hours is the time needed to convert all of the phytochrome far red to phytochrome red. In short day plants, Phytochrome far red inhibits flowering. So this is just showing that again. We've got our short day plants and we've got our long day plants. The short day plants, um, in short day plants, phytochrome far red is responsible for inhibiting flowering. And in long day plants, phytochrome far red is responsible for activating flowering. One way that some people like to remember this is um, SID the lad, um, where SID stands for short inhibit day, i.e. phytochrome far red inhibits in short day plants, 
and LAD stands for long activates day, i.e. phytochrome far red activates um, flowering in long day plants.